All right, hello everyone and welcome to my series on ICT Trades Analyzed, ICT Wisdom, <clears throat> in which I'm going systematically through ICT's uh, executions, his Twitter videos, in which he's showing you his live trades, and I'm going to commentate and annotate uh, over them for you. You see that we have a mega thread here from en.ratiba.com. So I just want to go ahead and give him a shout out. Uh, appreciate appreciate him for putting together this mega thread. So, guys, we're going to work all the way through this, and we're starting with um, January 26, 2023, guys. And we're going to go all the way through this. Uh, probably going to work like one or two videos at a time. He's got a lot of them. So let's get started without further ado. Okay, so here we can see on, let's just check that date again, uh, January 6, 2023, we're on the E-mini S&P 500. He's obviously on his phone. Um, E-mini S&P 500 futures, that was the March contract. And he's got a couple order blocks lined out. He's got a BISI uh, at the very bottom lined out that obviously you can see that price was failing to um, close within. So that could be a breakaway gap. Um, considering you know that price failed to close within it but in any event even if it is a common gap you can see that it was acting as support and then time of the day it looks like he's on the five minute chart so we're up at the very end of the day okay let us see here okay, obviously the video has to be muted as it would contain copyrighted music and I'm not exactly sure what he was using as his higher time frame draw on liquidity here. Um, but you can see that he's outlined he's outlined his order blocks and then he had his uh, BISI at the bottom outlined. I'm not exactly sure what his draw on liquidity was. This is at the very end of the day, 1600, so very uh, market on close macro, I guess. Uh, so you know the market on close macro, let me show you this. So. The last between 1515, okay, and 1545, the market should make some sort of a, a stop run. And then in the last 15 minutes after the macro ends, it should continue in kind of its original direction. So you see here in the at, between 1515 and 1545 how that market made a small retracement. That's that market on close macro. And then the last 15 minutes, uh, it's going to trade back up in the original direction, is the theory there. <clears throat> So he's not taking off any parcels here that I can see, All right? And the trailing stop is going to lock in the profit. Okay, it's either going to hit that buy limit or it's going to hit the stop. Either way, locking in the profit using some risk management. And there wasn't a whole lot more to say about this one. And he got stopped out on profit. So what do we see there? He's using um, a breakaway gap. I'm going to say that's a breakaway gap or a common gap. So. We see that this BISI down here is acting as a support. This is also a balanced price range, guys. It's the midway point of a BPR. So that was support. And then he's outlining here those uh, the mid the mean thresholds. You see of those order blocks? Mean thresholds of the order blocks are, yeah, the first one is a mean threshold. The second one is just the open of that black candle there. Um, which, you know, he's kind of mentioned before that the order blocks should be paired with an inefficiency. So, I don't think these are great order blocks, but they are there. Um, and that's about it. So mean threshold of the first order block. And then up here, you can see it's right at the open of the black candle. Both of those price found support on. The second time, it was exact support. And then he must have been aiming for higher time, like time frame liquidity. So guys, that is the January 26, uh, 2023 execution. Um, and let's get on to the next one. Let's read. Let's see. Final hour macro to the level I... Oh, Lord. Final hour macro, nine. Okay, I can't highlight it. Final hour macro to the level I gave before morning session began. Uh, music credit. Okay. ESAM session using the new week opening gap. All right, so new week opening gap concept. Shorting a retest of the new week opening gap low after a breakaway gap formed and target to sell side liquidity. So guys, let's take a watch. This is gonna be the second video that we watch here. I would really wish it would stop turning on the music when well, I'm not asking it to do that. Um, all right. 
Let's see if I can get it better on Twitter. Okay, guys. The, the music is really bothering me. Okay, uh, let's see the lay of the land here. So obviously this is going to be a video on the new week opening gap. We're on the E-mini S&P 500. This was the March contract one minute. Um, he's got a he's got a volume imbal imbalance highlighted here at the top. Uh, you can see that price does end up respecting that. It's got the new week opening gap here in the orange box. Um, it's between 10:40 and 10:50 in the morning. So shorting a retest of the new week opening gap low after breakaway gap form targeting sell side liquidity. Okay. All right. So you see that little. Uh, yellow box there that's going to be his breakaway gap price should not trade back up into it okay risk management we're taking off partials so we're not doing full pulls here there's that new week opening gap all right 10 contracts are going to come on right at the low new week opening gap so we're going to be wrote again you see shorting a retest to target sell side liquidity so uh, obviously, he was targeting that low there at 40.73 quarters. That's sell side liquidity, guys. Bang, short, low of the new week opening gap, little bit of drawdown. And the stop loss, okay, guys, stop loss is key. Uh, it's above that uh, breakaway gap because price should not trade up back through it. That's kind of why it's there. Now, I, I would figure that that would be um, a measuring gap, but. It's not the second gap in the sequence, so it's a breakaway gap. Short of the new week opening gap, he's going to say. Okay. Stop is above the gap, guys. You don't want to see the price trade back above the gap. Okay. On a one minute chart here. He's now short 15. Breakaway gap. There's that sell side liquidity below that low. Price appears to be targeting that. Guys, institutional order flow entry drill is basically where it ticks into a gap. Okay, now notice there's the break even stop. It comes in, right? Risk management comes in so that break-even stop is going to make sure that you're just playing with house money here bang push down into that sell side liquidity no problem easy peasy parcels are coming off he's still short four and he's taken off the contracts as price drops and then he's got one contract left so risk management is in the marketplace you can see that he's uh, he's got an idea. It's a short-term idea, right? And the original stop went above the breakaway gap, and then as price moved in his favor, the break-even stop came in. So break-even principle being, you can always take another trade. Better to better to take a break-even than a loss. Um, and then he targeted that sell side liquidity and took off parcels on the way down. So no full pulls here. A lot of risk management tools, money management tools that are being seen break-even stop so that's his trailing stop he's got one contract left that he's gonna follow down then he closes it out manually okay so I think what we saw there guys risk management um, the initial stop above the breakaway gap we saw the IOFED concept in play we saw the breakaway gap in play we saw how uh, price targeted sell-side liquidity we saw how he took parcels off as the market came lower didn't he did not do a full pull and that's going to be two videos, guys. So that was February 1st, 2023. On the next edition of ICT Executions Analyzed, we're going to move on to February 2nd and February 3rd. So this has been um, the second edition of, or third edition of ICT Executions, ICT Trades Analyzed. Bye-bye.